privilege and honor indeed to invite His Excellency Honorable Vice President of India Shri Muhammad Hamid Ansari ji to deliver the keynote address. Honorable Governor of Karnatak Baju Bai Wala ji Honorable Chief Minister of Karnatak Sitaramaiya ji Honorable Rahul Gandhi ji Honorable Oscar Fernandez ji Dr Parmeshwara Shri Neelap Mishra Dignitaries in the audience distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen Today is a memorable occasion the resur re resurrection of a happening in our freedom struggle a reminder to a younger generation of the role that media in the hands of people committed to a cause could do to motivate the public this is the 70th year of our independence and the national herald's return to active media space with a commemorative edition is worthy of being celebrated conceived by jawaharlal nehru the national herald began its publication from lucknow in 1938 and soon became the voice of our independence movement its banner of freedom in peril has an abiding relevance the history of journalism in india is closely linked to the history of our freedom struggle indian journalists were not merely news providers they were freedom fighters and social activists who fought not only to rid india of foreign rule but also to rid our society of social prejudices casteism communalism and discrimination the press played an important role in educating convincing and mobilizing our people many founding members of the congress in 1985 were journalists the most inspiring of the journalists like tribune hindustan leader sudhakrak kesri akhbar aam the hindu and swadesh were edited by prominent leaders like tilak gokhle subramanya ayer lajpat rai madan mohan malviya and agrakar it was summed up by a poet kheencho na kamano ko na talwar nikalo jab top muqabil ho to akhbar nikalo the press emerged as a tool for national awakening it became a medium of nationalist political participation for the masses the press was a medium for propagation of modern ideas of democracy freedom and equality the english press emerged as a medium of communication between nationalists across the country and played a role in welding india into a single nation and in giving the indians a sense of national identity this was crucial in mobilizing the masses for various nationalist and social causes gandhi ji was associated with six journals and editor of two very influential weeklies he published no advertisements at the same time he did not want his newspaper to run at a loss young india and harijan became powerful voices of his views on all subjects he wrote on all subjects he wrote simply and clearly but forcefully 
for gandhi ji journalism was a public service and he said i quote him in my humble opinion it is wrong to use a newspaper as a means of earning a living there are certain spheres of work which are of such consequence and have such bearing on public welfare that to undertake them for earnings one livelihood will defeat the primary aim behind them when further a newspaper is treated as a means of making profit the result is likely to be serious malpractice it is not necessary to prove to those who have some experience of journalism that such malpractices do prevail on a large scale end of quote jawaharlal nehru was described by gandhi ji as an artist an ardent patriot a humanitarian and an internationalist his journalistic ethics were a reflection of those of the mahatma he believed that the media was a pillar of democracy he envisaged a free unfettered and honest press he watched over the interests of media persons in independent india the working journalists act which tried to give a degree of protection to journalists to ensure freedom of press was largely his doing the act i believe is now in disuse and short term contracts that make journalists beholden to the preferred lines of the journal publication are in vogue in this age of post truths and alternative facts where editorials and response features edge out editorials we would do well to recall nehru's vision of the press playing its role of a watchdog in democracy and look at the ethos and principles that powered his journalism in an open society like ours we need a responsible press to hold power to account this is why freedom of press under article 19 1a of the constitution is subject only to reasonable restrictions in the interest of the sovereignty and integrity of india the security of the state public order decency contempt of court defamation and incitement to an offence the supreme court of india has held that freedom of speech and of press is the arc of the covenant of democracy because public criticism is essential to the working of its institutions another pronouncement of the supreme court bears a reiteration and i quote the judgment but what is called for today in the present times is a proper balancing of the freedom of press and said laws consistent with the democratic way of life ordained by the constitution over the last few decades press and electronic media have emerged as a major factor in our national life they are still expanding and in the process of becoming more inquisitive our system of government demands as do the systems of the governments of the united states of america and the united kingdom constant vigilance over exercise of governmental power by the press and the media amongst them it is essential for a good government end of quote the duty of the state is thus clear a free media is not only beneficial but necessary in a free society if press freedom is attacked it will result in the jeopardizing of citizens rights when faced with unjust restrictions and the threat of attacks 
self censorship by in the media can have the opposite effect aiding the covering up of abuses and fostering frustration in marginalized communities our constitutional framework provides for required intervention by the state to ensure smooth working of the press and the society the laws provide that such intervention should only be in the interest of the public at large by the same token the state shall not impede the free flow of information that will go a long way in protecting and promoting the citizens rights the media if it is to remain true to its calling has to do likewise i am happy to learn that national herald resumes publication in both print and digital forms i am sure that it will uphold the standards of journalism that jawaharlal nehru enshrined in his newspaper jai hind thank you thank you